All right, let's uh, do an example here. Uh, I'll do this out for you so that you can hear my thinking as I do this problem. The statement is that the large mirror at the Mount Palomar Observatory has a volume of 5 times 10 to the 5th cubic inches. The Pyrex glass used to make it has a density of 2.23 grams per cubic centimeter. So the question is, what does the mirror weigh in pounds? So this is a pretty large mirror. I'm expecting a pretty big weight. I can see that I'm asked for the weight in the English unit of pounds, and I've got a density that's going to be able to change the volume of the mirror to the mass of the mirror in the metric system. So I'll need some English metric conversion factors, which I've confidently memorized. Uh, and I won't have to look anything up then to do that. And I also see that I've got an English volume unit and a metric volume unit. So I'm going to have to do some conversions in that uh, as well. So as I see this problem, the semi-math statement would be, how many pounds does this mirror weigh? So that's my the simple statement of what the problem is. I know that the mirror has a volume of this much. So let's write down our conversion factors that we find in the problem. One mirror, a volume of 5 times 10 to the fifth cubic inches. And I might note right now that this uh, number has one significant figure. So in my calculation of this at the end, I'm going to have an answer with one significant figure. Scientific notation makes it really easy to tell how many significant figures there are in a measured number. Of course, the one mirror is exact, but 5 times 10 to the fifth cubic inches is a measured quantity. All right, so that's in the problem. The density is in the problem. 2.23 grams in one cubic centimeter of glass. I think I'm also going to need my memorized 454 grams in one pound. And I'm going to need my 2.54 centimeters in one inch conversion factor. I see that these are cubic units, so I'll cube that conversion factor when I need it. So here's what the outline would look like. I'm looking to change a mirror into cubic inches, which I'll change into cubic centimeters, and then the density will allow me to change that into grams. So this is the key conversion factor right here. You're going from a volume to a mass or weight. And then this last conversion factor is easy to change that to pounds. But that's the key right here. So I would, if I was any of these conversion factors were the most important, I'd say that's the one that does uh, the most work for us. All right, so now let's do the problem. How many pounds? One mirror. Apply the conversion factors in the order that the outline suggests. Remembering, of course, that the unit on the bottom of this conversion factor has to cancel uh, what comes before it. So this is my one mirror and the volume of 5 times 10 to the fifth cubic inches. That cancels then. I'm in cubic inches now. I want to change that to cubic centimeters, again following my outline. I see that my conversion factor though doesn't have cubic units in it, so I'll have to cube the entire conversion factor. And when I do that, 
I'll have one cubic inch on the bottom. One cubed is still one. 2.54 cubed centimeters cubed. Remember that everything gets cubed if you cube in a conversion factor. Everything meaning the numbers and the units. So in my calculation I'll be cubing 2.54. Okay, the unit of cubic inches cancel. I'm looking at cubic uh, centimeters to grams. That's the density conversion factor for the glass. One cubic centimeter and you'll notice that I write down the lower unit and value first because that's the one that's going to look just like this. So that's kind of an interesting thing that you notice after a while is that you want these conversion factors written so that this unit cancels. So write down that unit first and make sure that you have it written correctly. That is not upside down. So the 2.23 grams from the problem is up here. Last conversion factor, grams to pound. One pound, whoops, I better do what I said. 454 grams is one pound. At least to three significant figures. Alright, so there's the problem worked out. I end up with the unit of pounds just like I wanted. And remember it's important to, to write this question uh, how, how many pounds, the unit over here that you're looking for. Because you can see in doing a problem that might involve three or four, five or six conversion factors, you could easily get lost and uh, forget what you were looking for. So if this comes out in pounds and you've converted and canceled the units correctly, and these are truthful statements. Double check the conversion factors and make sure they are true. If those are true and the units have all canceled, I think you're very confident that you have the right answer if you do the computation correctly. So now I'm going to just show you the numbers since all these units have canceled. This is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be multiplying 5 times 10 to the 5th times 2.54 cubed times 2.23. The 1's, of course, don't have to be put in there. And I'm going to be dividing by 454. I'm going to write the unit of pounds because it's still pounds. 